Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead horoscope. A happy new year to you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so, did you set New Year's resolutions? Did you set de decade dedications? That's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> with that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Tribal Tuesday is back and goes live in Jan uh, January. In February, Mindset Magic is live and will go uh, is, and will go live, should I say, on the first of March. If you want to be on either one of these courses, spaces are limited to just twelve a piece. So if you want to get on that, have a look at the link in the description box below. It will tell you everything that you need to know. With that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So thank you for all of your support last year and that those that, for, you know, that have been with me throughout. I just wanted to say, um, obviously we have a new layout. You know, I like to keep it fresh and funky, keep it changing, keep it moving. So let's have a look, see your actions and interactions with the world at large. This week you have the Hermit card. This is gonna be a week of slowly, steadily and progressively protecting your energy. If you need to withdraw from the world in order to figure out your next steps, in order to preserve your own energies, um, you know, really do so. And it's interesting that this should come up because it represents the sign of Virgo, but it also, and Virgo's ruled by the sixth house, right? Um, and this, what this is kind of saying to you is your own energy, your own health. These are things that you need to pay attention to now. The fact that this is on your path, this is, it tells me that your soul is trying to tell you something. Whenever you get the Hermit card, in my personal understanding of it, the hermit is what you do to allow the voice of the high priestess to grace your ears, right? The hermit knows how to withdraw. He knows how to make himself make himself still, how to make himself quiet. And when you can do that, this is about really allowing that inner voice, that inner wisdom to come through. But unfortunately, we live such busy, hectic lives, we do have to withdraw sometimes in order for that to speak up protecting, self-preservation, self-protection. These are all things that are gonna come up for you this week and I actually agree, like especially if you're an Aquarius rising um, because this conjunction is taking place in your 12th house. This is all to do with your past, your privacy and your hidden zone as Nico says, um, but it's also to do with your spirituality. It's also to do with your subconscious, the depths of your psyche and your soul, right? The deepest parts of you are being sort of active Activated by this Saturn Pluto conjunction, even if it's just your sun sign, you know, I'm a sun sign Aquarius, and it, although it's not, it, you know, I'm not, I'm actually a Leo rising. So technically this is happening in my sixth, 12th house axis, right? But <coughs> what's uh, important to look at here is from your sun sign or your rising, um, you know, but especially for your ascendant, this is a 12th house activation. When that takes place, this is really deep stuff. And sometimes the only way to look at that internal stuff, to go deep enough within, is to shut yourself in some way, shape or form away, right? You have to remove yourself a little while uh, in order for that inner wisdom to speak, in order for that inner light to pour out of you. The conjunction comes exact on the 12th of uh, 12th of January, and you know we'll be seeing and feeling that energy for the, those three days, especially you know the 12th, 13th, and 14th. It will be really, really um, very prevalent. So keep that in mind. I mean, it's interesting because over the holiday period, everybody, like family members, even my partner, they were all sick, and I was like the picture of glowing health. That's all ended, everyone else is kind of getting better and now I'm like, uh, you know, my throat, it's just crazy. So I will definitely be adhering to this this week. All right, communications with the world at large. We've got the Knight of Cups. There is an offer or an opportunity that is being presented to you this week. It has something to do with work. It has something to do with your professional or academic life. This is gonna be really, really great. The feeling that I get from it, it's something that you can absolutely trust that you can absolutely go for. The issue that you may have is they may want you to start earlier than you can. And because you're doing this this week, my advice to you would be to say, look, you know what, as long as we can, you, we can move forward on this maybe after the 15th, 
that would be absolutely fantastic. Otherwise, it's, you, you know, and, and this is the thing as well, right? The other thing with the Hermit card, he's wise enough to say, this is what I can do and this is what I can't do. This is when I'm available and this is when I'm not available. I'll give you a really good example. You know, sometimes if you're, you know, if you want to go for a new job or you're in between jobs, you know, when you get that job offer, you're so sort of gung-ho about getting it that you kind of say, oh yeah, you know, I can start tomorrow. And then after you think to yourself, actually, do you know what? It would have been better if I'd started next week because I've got A, B and C to take care of. This is the energy this week. So whatever communication comes in, whatever offer or opportunity is presented to you, you need to make sure that you give yourself enough time to effectively move into that, right? This goes back to that video that I put out yesterday. Uh, determination, dedication and decisiveness. This week you're going to act, you're going to need to act decisively. And this kind of says that you will go for the opportunity but ensure that you have enough of a buffer time to go into what you're doing next money and materials this week you have the queen of cups right so you're nurturing your money this week right you're nurturing your money your finances your resources nurturing yourself as well and the other thing is with the queen of pentacles uh, queen of pentacles queen of cups raf queen of cups um, the, the other thing with the Queen of Cups is, <coughs> excuse me, she is, um, this is about really looking after something. So this week could see you really paying attention to your budget, to your finances, to all of this stuff. This has come up for a lot of the signs, you know, it's that time of year, I guess. Um, but the Queen of Cups really does suggest that you are ready to nurture your finances. And it kind of feels for me like a lot of you are kind of looking back at a lot of us. So looking back at the past and saying, right, that was my, fi that's my financial history, but that is going to be my financial future. And when you see, you know, any parent, especially a mother that looks at their child, they're like, I want them to be everything that they can. This is the approach that you're taking to your finances. This offer or opportunity that comes in is a solid one and could really see you nurturing the seeds of you know abundance for later on to come uh, so this is going to be a very pivotal week pay attention to that because the queen of cups does represent the sign of cancer we do have a lunar eclipse in the sign of cancer on the 10th of this week pay attention to what happens on that day because it's a grand culmination of some point so uh, in your heart and half, your relationships, you've got the devil card, right? For those of you that are single, this kind of suggests that this might be somebody that you're, it could be an ex is popping up and it will be somebody that was a destructive pattern for you. You know, this is somebody coming back into the fold and it's like, what? you know, we're in a new year, this is a new decade, how dare you turn up? Don't do any of that, because the more you engage in it, the less healthy it's going to be for you, right? If you want to make a clean break, just don't acknowledge it, is my best advice to you. Um, don't step onto that wheel of karma with them, right? Uh, for those of you that are partnered, this, for me, really does suggest that you may be dealing with some difficult conversation that needs to happen. Um, it does suggest that maybe the time spent between you guys is going to diminish. This looks like it's going to be a very busy year for Aquarians especially. Um, and, you know, in that same vein, it could be that this week you're kind of at odds with, you know, I know what I need to do to get to where I want to be, but then, you know, my relationship. And it's kind of, you're going to co go through this seesawing energy this week. On a familial level, this could see you dealing with somebody uh, who is either going through a difficult time, possibly somebody that is facing addiction, uh, possibly somebody, you know, this could be, see you working with and around all of those things. For some of you, this could see you, you know, really trying to do a good deed, but the the feeling that I get from that and what I'm actually hearing is, you know, that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Sometimes the best thing that you can do is just stay out of it, whatever it is. All right, so your key to the month is the devil card, right? What are you attached to? What cycles and circles are you attached to that you know you need to release? You have two options to do that this week. You've got the Cancerian lunar eclipse that's coming up. That's a grand release point. Uh, and the Cancer is the 
fifth house, I believe, for Aquarius. Yeah, Cancer is the fifth house for Aquarius, right? So this is all to do with your creativity. Uh, this is a really good week for that as well, for, um, for saying to yourself or asking yourself or saying, look, you know what? If it hasn't worked up until now, any projects that you've got outstanding, if you haven't worked on them up until now, or if you know you say you constantly say, Oh, you know, I need to do this and I need to do that, this is a fix it or forget it week, right? Either either draw a line under it or get it complete. That's a, a really big energy for this week as well. Um, and really asking yourself what patterns, what cycles are you locked in um, that you now know you know need to release and then the um the conjunction that starts on the 12th this is taking place in the sign of capricorn represented by the devil card right uh, which is the 12th house for aquarius so this is excuse me this is really about what you need to release from your soul what you need to release from your subconscious from your psyche make a point you know do cord cutting rituals if you can um you know do cleansing baths ritual baths uh you know mindfulness yoga meditation whatever it is anything that's going to get you in that place where you can take yourself down into the depths of yourself and say this stuff needs to be released i let it go now in love in light and so i can move on forward for my life if that looks like you needing to withdraw then so be it right so that when this opportunity shapes up when these extra funds and money comes in you can a enjoy them and b move towards them sure and strong and confident in the knowledge that you have done everything that you needed to do to give those things the best chance of survival or creation all right i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up it is going to be intense Loved ones, it is going to be intense. I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you, but I promise you, you do this work and it will be so, so rewarding for your long term. All right, take care and I'll see you soon.